What's up, everybody? Gaming Gargle here, and welcome back to episode 51 of Salix. Sorry about the break, but I had a whole bunch of gardening to do, and I hope you enjoyed that uh, virtual reality break in between here. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into what's changed in the game lately. Let's do that while we're loading. Okay, so... My lord! End day 50. Yeah, sure. I guess that's the one we're going with. Okay. So basically new stuff uh, in the game. The player can now transfer firewood into the town fires and light them. New rodent-based production events. So there's cats to deal with those rodents. There's now ducks for farms. Families can move into the map from elsewhere. You can now load up a horse cart with goods and send it to another map to trade goods. New helper markers in the tutorial. Add a dynamic scroll bar to the buildings dock for those with smaller screens. You can now speed up the game to 8 times by pressing plus 4 times instead of 12. That was really quick. People can now refuse marriage or lovemaking. You can now pay off guards, which will encourage them to go back to the bunkhouse and relax for a little while. The payoff price is calculated based on their own personal corruption level, and their corruption level increases when you pay them off, thus reducing the payoff price later. Uh, you can now farm the ducks. They produce small carcasses, which and then turned into small quantities of meat. Okay. Said, which in turn are turned into. Okay, that would make more sense. Um, add an in-game option to change the navigation quality of carts and characters. You can now sleep near social spots and town fires. You can now start as a nomad, no house, with a thousand gold, a leather pack, and some trade goods. Report crime that you see taking place. And he's also started adding special objects around the maps that can be looked or looted. Sorry, This will be part of a much larger system later on in the game. And enter or return will instantly pause the game. So, it sounds like to me that uh, this is going to be uh, a lot more fun. Um, yes, this is how long it takes for me to load. Normally, I've got a pretty big game, I think. Pretty big save file. Yeah, come on. Come on, game. Oh, there we go. Now we got some sound back. So that usually means that everything's a okay. And as always, guys, this game is available on Steam Early Access. More links, more info, and goodies are in the description down below. So, how's everybody been during their break? Uh, quite a few comments on the virtual reality videos. I had a lot of fun playing those. Um, definitely takes a little bit of getting used to, that's for sure, to... That moving around and that just really kind of gets to you sometimes. All right, let's go to the main house. Let's go to the abode and let's enter in. Is it just me or am I not hearing any game sounds? Uh, one second, let's go to options. Overall, music volume, blah, 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 done. Okay. There's my lord. All right, what time is it, guys? Let's check this out. 2.27, resume. All right, so, my lord, you should be sleeping. Oh, there we go. There's the music. Okay, so we didn't lose game sounds. Good. Oh, that silly doggy. All right, well, let's speed things up to 3.50 in the morning. I like that speed up. Okay. First things first, let's take a look at all our carts. Did we lose any of our carts? No, that one's fine. The abode's fine. The soup house is fine. Trading post. We only had one that was upgraded. The soup house, of course. Where are all our taverns? Leather worker, porridge house. What the? Alright, so there we go, guys. There is our very first glitch of the game. We lost our ale houses.
of course it keeps our soup house but doesn't keep our ale house or our equipment or 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 oh well okay all right well we can we can deal with this that's just extremely disappointing that's all right my lord come entertain sir Okay, so, my lord, get your run on. There we go, good job, my lord. Now, can we press one? Yes. And we can zoom in on him. Hmm. I'm not hearing... I'm barely hearing my lord's music. What is going on here? Uh, options? Brightness. Nothing's turned down. Oh, everything's up there. Okay. Don't know. Don't want the player hungers and needs yet. Alright, done. Resume. And I guess we're just going to have to do a whole bunch of work to get ourselves those alehouses. Let's just go take a look at the overview and find out if they're for sale at least. Alehouse, Gargoyle family. So we can't buy them. Or anything else. Hmm. Well, guys, what do you guys think? Should we just go ahead and just do a restart with all the new changes and everything else and maybe try a different type of lifestyle? I think that's the best thing for us to do, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a quick break if I had commercials, but I'm not there yet for channel views. Um, I'd say we'll take a quick break. And